I captured lot of pictures yesterday. I went live as well. Happy New Year, everyone. We, I showed you as much data I can and the pictures I can while I was uh, staying live. We took pictures from, I believe, 12 in the midnight till 4.30 in the morning. Somewhere at 4, 4.30, I could not take pictures anymore. The comet was on the east side, almost close to 9.45 in the night or 10 o'clock, but anywhere between 10 to uh, midnight, I mean, the pictures were a little bit blurry because light pollution and the comet was not clear. But once it get to the midnight, the picture started becoming more and more clear and we captured several of those pictures. I believe I captured close to like 177 pictures, something like that. Cleaned up those pictures. I'll show you the pictures that I took. There is a recent paper from Avi on the structured jets that he was noticing, looking at the Hubble pictures across the time period. And also he was talking about the anti-jet and how long it is. Uh, and it is kind of abnormal for a normal comet. And we've been noticing that in our pictures too all along. There was a picture I'm going to show you. This was not the picture I took last night. This was like probably a week ago. And I was looking at that picture and I saw a pretty long tail. I did show that live last night in the live stream. I'm going to show you that today and also the pictures from last night as well. The comet tail and the outgassing and the jets and the anti-tail is still pretty long. But overall, the comet is getting smaller as it is going towards Jupiter. When I was taking pictures live, I saw a bit of an arc in the jet. I will show you the pictures that I have. I didn't see a whole lot of it when I'm looking at the pictures after I uh, cleaned up the noise and uh, when I was just taking a look at it. Uh, but it seems like there is a bit of a twist or an arc going down. I was kind of wondering like why it suddenly starts showing up a little shape in the jet. Maybe we are just seeing some kind of a noise when we are taking pictures. But after I cleaned up, I didn't see that a whole lot. I'll, sh I'll show you the data as well. It's getting very interesting. We may not be able to see this comet very clearly, maybe a month from now. That's my guess. Uh, it will become a very tiny dot. And I don't know if we will get a chance to have great opportunity to see when it is passing Jupiter. The interesting part I noticed is this comet is running so fast, is moving so fast, I shouldn't call it running, but it is moving so fast within one month, right? So I'll show you the gap between where it is today and where Jupiter is. And exactly a month from that, it is going all, all the more, almost close to the Jupiter, which is, uh, it actually shows how fast it is going. For us, when we go in the human-built rockets, it's going to take six months or even more to get to a Mars, forget Jupiter. Now we are talking about going all the way to Jupiter in a matter of a month. So you can understand how fast this comet is moving. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do and click on the notifications button and the like button. If you can, please do join as a member. So you might get to see some member only live streams and I can share some pictures, etc. Let me uh, quickly show you the pictures that we took last night. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. Let me see if I can bring it up. We were talking about the three atlas as of today, right? When I was saying it is coming by 9.45. So right now the time is 9.35, right? 
So 935 Comet is already coming in. Comet 3 Atlas is coming in in the east side. But pictures won't be that clear until you wait until maybe another couple of hours. Okay. Now, the most important thing I wanted to show you is I'm going to um, zoom out a little bit more and uh, show you the distance between the Comet 3 Atlas and, sorry, I was jumping around the Jupiter, right? So th that's where it is, right? Between these two, right? Now, if I go in time and show you what will happen if I just pass one month from today. You look at this Comet 3 Atlas right now here, and I pass one month. Let me zoom out. It's right there. You see that? I'll do it again. I'll go back this one. Right now, the comet is here. Jupiter is over here. And when I go one month, it's like right here, the distance. It jumps so close to it within one month. Data, this is the data that I collected almost like a week back. And then I noticed that I processed it a little bit more. And I was just looking at this data. And all these pictures are looking great. I wanted to show you something. I know like this is all awesome. When Avi Loeb was talking about that huge anti-tail, this is one big indication, this, this particular picture, but there is one more. I hope I can stop exactly there. This is the one. Okay, look at this picture, right? So it goes all the way up to here. This is the one that I was thinking, I mean, we were seeing this before, but as he was mentioning about why is this tail this long? And it should not exist when Avi was saying, I was like, yeah, we saw that data before, right? So anyway, so this is something I wanted to point out. So these are the pictures that I captured yesterday. Let me show you. I did a small crop like on the portion of the comet where it is, and I reduced the noise little bit and also sharpened a little bit. That's pretty much what I did on the comet. This is from last night. And it is still looking pretty bright. I was, but not as bright as a few weeks ago. But the, I'll show you some pictures like at the very end, I believe. I thought, let me zoom in. Yeah, you see that, like, you see, um, let me sh give you. It goes away and comes back, you see that? Again, maybe it is just noise. I'm, I don't think it's making any, I'm going to do a comet alignment and see if this comet is going to stay in one place. Let me do that right now. So what this process will do is, it's going to keep the comet in one place and move the stars, right? So, so there's a core of the comet there. And we'll do the same thing here. This is the core of the comet in the last picture, right? And if everything is right, it should not take way too long to run this process. Okay, let's watch this. This comet is way too, look at that. That's what I was saying. This is what I was noticing in the live stream. I'll make this smaller. If you are on cell phone, you should be able to see it as well. Hold on. I'll make it a little bit big.
Okay. So th this is what I was noticing that when you go from these individual pictures, yeah, you see that like right here, right? There is a pronunciation of a tail and also it is kind of a little bit curved. In one or two pictures I'm seeing it. Yeah, this one, see that? I don't know whether looking at the noise or you see that I have to zoom in for you okay I'll do this again see this is the one I was talking about you see that what is it like it keeps doing that in all the pictures, I'm showing you as close as possible. Sorry if it is getting pixelated for you. Yeah, same thing again. By the way, it is getting dimmer, so... I don't know if we will have quite a lot of time to take pictures of this comet. It's going to become smaller and smaller. I mean, we are using powerful telescopes to do this. Regular telescopes probably won't even get close to this level. So anyway, um, that's all the data I have. That's all the pictures that I took. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, click on the notifications button and the button. So when I post the new videos, you will get the links. Join as a member if there is an opportunity to share some of these pictures away. I'll send you in the YouTube post and you will get a link and you can download some of these pictures. Thanks everyone.